Hola Scorpios, welcome to your love reading for September 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpios for love for September 2022? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground and become closer to Universe and closer to Divine through your messages? Any messages for Scorpios? for love for september 2022 would be greatly appreciated and thank you can you please show us love energies for scorpios prior to september 2022 we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse it's just not working is it um make sure you click on the video link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread i'll have something you do not know about them in addition to if they're seeing or they're interested in somebody else yep not working okay um in my playlist here, 2023 Sun Moon Predictions. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. Your 2022s are still in there. Check those out. See if they ring true for you. We end on the Queen of Swords in the upright for how you will be moving out of September into October. Look me up on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, subscribe, or donate in any of the links below in support of my channel. Always appreciated. So... I said <laughs> with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse that things are over, um, or at least in your mind, um, because prior to September, I see you being like, look, there is nothing coming out of this. I, I feel as though you put in all the work, you've been um, trying to kind of make things happen. Uh, you have been working hard, but what ends up happening is nothing. So you don't have anything to show for it. You, uh, you're starting to lose like you're um, even wanting to kind of continue. So, I mean, obviously if you put your efforts into something and no success is to be had from it and there isn't any progress, then why is anyone gonna wanna bother continuing Continuing, right we all need to be rewarded for our efforts or else you know we don't want to kind of continue so that's what I'm kind of getting that you were just kind of dumping into a black hole here um, and you start having that realization prior to September in September we have the two of wands and upright so this is where you're like should I stay or should I go should I stay with this that that you know is is the same pattern that I'm used to very predictable and not getting anything out of it or is it time to leave this connection and go after what I really want um, you might have envisioned the kind of relationship that you want to have and you're saying to yourself should I should I really kind of put my all into it and go seek that out and make that happen yes there's risk involved because you have to leave maybe a comfortable situation or somebody that you know very well um you know often i think with this card it's kind of like staying with the devil you know rather than um taking a chance on the devil you don't know so that's where you're kind of at this precipice of trying to decide what you're going to do no action being taken the two of wands is a very sedentary card to me it's just chilling and taking things into consideration and going hmm well let me see how things kind of flesh out before i kind of do anything I think you do make your decision as you go out of September into October because with the Queen of Swords and the Upright, um, this is where you're like, okay, I need to take my heart out of it. I need to take my emotions out of it. And I need to think very clearly with my head. Um, I mean, the Queen of Swords doesn't let her heart get in the way. She doesn't let people get in the way. She doesn't let distractions get in the way. What she does is she looks down the line at how things um, are going to be and anything that's like standing in the way, um, kind of clouding that, she just eliminates that so what you're doing is you you're using your head or using your you know brain and making a very cerebral decision on what is the wisest most logical choice for you and saying to yourself you know what it, it doesn't it it there's no point to letting people waste my time, which I feel is what's going on over here. So um, loud and clear, you're gonna realize that as you move out of September into October. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse for Scorpios? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. We had the Three of Pentacles in the upright. It wasn't always like this, was it? It wasn't always like this in this relationship. When you guys first started out, things were off the Richter. The sex was great. Things were on fire. You were excited. Butterflies, jumping out of bed in the morning, you know, to go see this person or couldn't wait to check your phone. All of that was kind of going on, I feel. Um, you guys worked really well together. So I think like in a practical sense, you know, um, 
you you worked well together, you planned well together. Um, this person could also be a celebrity or in the public eye. I feel you know, and they have you on uh, their arm, and you're like, wow, this is this is crazy. I can't believe I bagged somebody like this. Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm kind of getting that. Um, you know, that people were like, wow, look at that couple, like a power couple or, you know, something in that regard. They appreciated you. They valued you. And you were really on your high horse here. You were, um, you know, on your white horse. I shouldn't say high horse because that has a negative connotation to it. But here you are kind of like, yes, I'm victorious. I bagged this person. Look at me all glorious. But somehow I think that things fell apart. You are, you end up like being in this person's shadow, you end up putting energies into this and you know, and where's your success? Where's your, you know, rewards? Where, where's all that stuff? So I think it started off really quickly like that. You might've been really enamored with everything and then that kind of fell off. So why is the two of wands here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Okay, one of the things that's bothering you in this connection or uh, is that it's no longer equal. You put a lot in, you aren't getting stuff back, uh, you feel lesser than, you feel like you're not appreciated. Um, you know, if you, I, I feel as though you have, if you, if you leave this previous person, it's going to be really difficult for you. I don't know if the two of you share a home, they're a breadwinner, something of that regard, but I'm seeing you being concerned about financial hardship you're going to have, emotional hardship you're going to have, how hard it's going to be. So maybe just the fact of leaving this person, maybe this person's going to make it really difficult for you from an emotional standpoint. And I see you kind of taking that into consideration, like maybe it's better to stick with the path of least resistance. So I don't kind of have to go through that. Um, the Hierophant card here in the upright, which is the card of the Taurus, those has you saying, okay, I, I really need to think on what the smartest thing is to do here. Um, you might actually go to somebody for counsel. The Hierophant is known for advising people, be providing wide, wise counsel on um, things of that sort. So you might be actually talking to, you know, a priest or a deacon or a counselor or somebody like that. So you can get, wrap your head around everything and figure out what is the best thing for you to do or kind of clear the clouds out of your head and, and gain that knowledge on how you can kind of go about doing that so you do have concerns about leaving this person but I feel as though you realize the best way to go is forward here you are pointing your sword like yeah I know what I need to do why is the queen of swords here in the upright who's this person what's this energy justice card in reverse part of the clarity here is that this person doesn't treat you fairly um Justice card reverse is the card of Libra, but you you feel as though um, you know it's all about them, or you feel like they criticize you, or they judge you, or anytime you have an opinion. And this is as you move forward, so out of September and October, I think you're realizing, um, you know, you're just starting to look at the bad things rather than the good things, or starting to look at, um, you know, overcome how difficult it's going to um, be to leave this person by taking comfort in how good things will be after the fact. So you're kind of like, I don't really need somebody who's going to be like critical and judging me and, and making me feel less confident, um, you know, things of that regard. Um, you also feel as though whenever you have an opinion that goes against this person's opinion, you always feel like you have to defend yourself. Like you're always, you know, when you do want to be heard, it's like you have to be an advocate for yourself. So as you move forward, you're having that realization and saying, do I really need this? I mean, you know, are they on my team or are they not on my team? I feel like they're not on my team. So um, maybe it's time for me to find a love uh, that's supportive of me. So the strength card in the upright is you gaining the inner strength to actually um, leave this person behind, I feel, or exit this relationship. And I think you're going to handle it in a way where they aren't going to uh, necessarily be able to hold anything against you. I mean, you see how she's talking to this lion and trying to calm him down. Um, I feel like you don't want any repercussions or any backlash or you don't want any hard feelings. So I think, um, you know, you're going to um, handle it very well so that you don't have any of that kind of following you around. So um, I do feel like you're leaving this uh, situation. So that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-record or a live reading. Just send me an email, DM, or text me at 646-902-5715. Otherwise, make sure you click on the Vimeo link below where I will be doing what your love interest is thinking or feeling. In addition to that spread, I mean, and in that spread, I will also have if they are seeing 
someone else or interested in somebody else and something you do not know about them in my playlist or your 2023 sun moon predictions that are coming out put your requests in the comments i will put your request in queue 20 your 2022s are also in there so see if they rang true for you and then finally look me up on facebook instagram like share subscribe or donate and any of the links below in support of my channel always appreciated otherwise scorpios i will see you in the vimeo reading adios from veronica garnett bye